Guys, I'm going to show you a routine maintenance uh, step on uh, this Chevrolet Cobalt for after you've rotated the tires and how to relearn the tire pressure monitoring sensors in the wheels. You simply get the key in, turn it till it's in the on position without starting. You got all your lights going, and you take your info center button and your set button and you press them together at the same time for one second. And then you'll see you got a set of options that you can cycle through. We're going to press the info button until we get to the tire learn choice. And then we're going to hold the set button down for three seconds to start the process. Okay, it beeps twice. It says tire learn on. And then we're going to step outside the vehicle. And what's going to happen is the car is going to light up the turn signal for each tire it wants us to check. So let's go do that. The process starts off with the driver's side front. As you can see, it lights up the turn signal solid, uh, the parking light, so that you know that's the side to start on. So we're gonna come down here and we're going to release our tire valve cover. And all you have to do is either give it air or let out air. I'm gonna give it air until it beeps that it's done and goes to the next one. Sometimes you gotta do a combination of both. Okay, we got that one. And so now if we step to the front of the vehicle, <clears throat> we should see the light for the passenger side front lid. Same kind of procedure. I'm going to come over to this one. I'm going to take off the tire cap, valve cap cover. And again, I'm going to add air until it beeps, until horn goes rather. And what's happening during this is the computer's detecting the sensor giving changes in pressure so that it knows which wheel that the pressure sensor is associated with. Okay, so we got that one. And it goes clockwise, so now we're going to go to the rear of the vehicle. And we're going to see that we have the passenger side um, of the rear lit, and that's the next one to do. So I'm going to come over and do this one. Again, the same deal. We're going to go as fast as we can. It takes about eight seconds per wheel. There's no reason not to do this after a tire rotation. That way, if you get one that's low, it's accurate on the information center which one it's telling you is low. Okay, and now we should have the last one on the driver's side. You see that light's lit. Come in here and do this last one. And what you can do when it's all over with is go back around and set the pressure to 33 foot-pounds on this particular vehicle, and you'll be all set. Okay, so now if we go inside and look on the instrument panel, we can see that it says that the tire learn process is complete. So, I hope this helped you out. Found it useful. Like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.